friends. Today we're going to look at the art of an artist named Keith Haring, and we're going to do a drawing inspired by his artwork. It will look something like this. I hope you enjoy it. Keith Haring is a famous street artist from the 1980s. He's known for his graphic images, bold lines, bright colors, and public art. He believed that art should be available to everyone. Keith used chalk to draw on the walls of the New York subway. People would stop to watch him draw and enjoy his work until it was washed away. He also painted huge murals on walls and buildings to lift the spirits of people in the community. People paid him to fill their walls or rooms with his whimsical art. He became famous quickly and began creating merchandise with his artwork on it. Some of his artwork is very famous and recognizable. We're going to start out by drawing our first figure's head on the left. It's a very simple shape. It's almost a circle, but it stops before it ends. Next, we're going to draw an arm coming out from behind the head. So we're going to start at the head and draw a diagonal line going up and to the left. We'll make that arm bend where the elbow would bend. So now it goes up in a slight diagonal to the right. Now we're going to draw the hand as if it's folded back. So we're going to start at the end of the wrist and we're going to draw out and curve back around. Next, we're going to follow the same direction that these other lines go to draw the bottom part of the arm. We're going to draw a diagonal line down and this one needs to be longer than the first one so that it will have room to bend back and come to the body. Next, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down the same diagonal or parallel to the top of the arm. Now we'll draw the next arm. We're going to draw this one coming out from behind the head as well. This one is going to be a horizontal line. Next, we're going to draw a line that is at a slight diagonal to the right. And again, we're going to start at the wrist and come around and make a flexed hand. Next, we're going to draw the bottom side of the arm that's parallel to this. Then we'll come back towards the body parallel to the top of the arm. And now we're going to draw the body coming towards the bottom of the page. Start where your arm finished and make a curved line that comes down. Do the same thing on this side. Now it looks like he's dancing. We're gonna draw the same kind of figure, but opposite on this side. So we're gonna start with the head, which is almost a full circle. Next, we're going to make the line on the arm over here that comes out from the head at a diagonal up and to the right. Then we're going to make another diagonal that comes up higher and to the right. And we're going to add the flexed hand, which it comes out and curves. Next, we'll do the bottom of the arm following the same direction that the first lines went. We're going to go diagonal down and to the left, and then down and to the left some more. Time for the left arm. We're going to make an arm coming out from the head that comes out almost horizontal. 
then it comes up at a diagonal then the flexed hand comes out and back in Next, we'll do the bottom of the arm, comes down at a diagonal to the right, then across with a horizontal line. Next, we'll add the body curving around towards the outside. Now for the next part, you can draw whatever you want up here. It could be a heart, it could be a rainbow. I think today I'm gonna to draw a rainbow. I'm gonna draw it going up and over from one hand to the other hand. Then I'm gonna add some more lines in between. And now it's time to color. <laughs> 